guys, Gaming Geek here. Welcome to this gameplay commentary, which you're seeing of Call of Duty Ghost on the PlayStation 4. This is my first ever video of Ghost on the PS4, so enjoy that. Now, just a little bit about the gameplay first. It was recorded using the inbuilt uh, capturing software on the PS4. Therefore, because all the process you have to go to upload it and all that sort of stuff, the quality isn't great. It's decent. It's HD, it's decent, but honestly, I could get much better quality using my Elgato. Unfortunately, I can't record using my Elgato uh, due to HDCP reasons. Now, I'm hopefully finding a way around that pretty soon. I've ordered something. Hopefully, that will work, but uh, fingers crossed on that, and it's sort of a waiting game. That is why my Killzone Shadowfall playthrough is on hold at the moment. Uh, I've not touched the campaign yet. I'm waiting until I can record using my Elgato, and I will do that for you. So, Fingers crossed that can be done really soon. I'm trying my best, but bear with me on that one. Now, talking about the transition between uh, Ghosts on the 360, because that's what I previously played it on, and Ghosts on the PS4. Now, there is a definite difference in terms of graphical uh, performance. You're going to get a lot better textures. You're going to get a lot better lighting. Uh, just everything about the way the game looks and feels is better. I would say I've genuinely had a better experience of Call of Duty Ghosts on the PS4 than I had on the 360. It's just, it just feels a lot more finished, let's say. The 360 is just sort of a bit rough and ready. Um, would I justify, if you have it on the 360 and you've bought a next-gen console, console, would I justify paying a full game price again to get it on the next-gen? It's really up to you. It really is. It, are you going to be playing a lot of Call of Duty Ghosts? If you are going to be playing a lot of Call of Duty Ghosts and you don't want to keep switching between, you know, current and uh, previous gen, because that's what we're calling it now. It's not really next gen, it's sort of current now because they're sort of all released. Uh, but, you know, do you really want to be switching between those generations? Maybe not. But if it's something you go and play Ghosts occasionally, then maybe it doesn't bother you to go back to your 360 or PS3 and go and play that, and then you switch back to your PS4 or Xbox One, whichever you've got in the future, then, you know, that's fine. But, you know, it's really something you have to decide on yourself. It is a lot of money, you know. Gaming in the UK uh, on the high street, a selling goes for about 55 quid, and it's it's really expensive. It really is, considering that you may already have that game. Uh, but it definitely is a graphical improvement. You know, it's not miles ahead. You know, this video footage isn't going to do it justice. Honestly, any sort of video that anyone uploads to the web of the PS4, of any game on the PS4, or the Xbox One for that matter, really don't do it justice. You have to sort of be there yourself and see it on the screen where it's not compressed in any way, it's not had to go through the the rigorous uh, rendering you know, process, uploading to YouTube which re-renders it, you know, and sort of lowers the quality. When you see it in person, it honestly miles different. And uh, Call of Duty Ghost, least, least so. But, you know, Kills and Shadow Fall, you know, I was playing Need for Speed Rivals on a live stream yesterday, and oh my god, I had to keep stopping just to look at how awesome it, 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 it graphically looked. You know, I just keep stopping and looking at all the te uh, sort of textures in the background, all, you know, the car, the, the, the way the rain. The rain in that game is amazing. Oh my god. Right. Uh, and I, this is coming from someone that owns, I own a gaming PC. You know, it's not a high end one, but I play Battlefield 4 on high. You know, I played the previous Need for Speed on PC on high. And still, it still makes me go, oh my god, that looks absolutely amazing, even though I, even though I play on PC. So, it really is up there. But as I said, you know, I've got three games in the minute, three, let's say, major titles. I have some indie games as well, which I'm really enjoying. But uh, Kills of Shadowfall, you know, um, Ghosts and Rivals, out of them, you know, Ghost is sort of the, the least... Uh, amazing to look at. It's still sort of, it's like an in-between, I feel, Ghosts is. It feels be in between sort of last gen and current gen. It sort of feels not quite into, you know, not quite into PS4 era, but, you know, not as bad as PS3. You know, it looks on PS3 right now. So hopefully that explains that for you. But in gen generally, you know, the game does feel more polished on the PS4, so I'm really enjoying it. I'm actually getting a lot more fun out of playing on the PS4 than I did on the 360. I'm putting more hours into it and just really enjoying it. So, you know, there's something got to be said about that. But that's all really I've got to say about that for now. Uh, I'll be making videos on Need for Speed Rivals, uh, looking maybe to get a video up on Shadowfall multiplayer as well in between now and hopefully being able to record uh, the, the playthrough. So don't worry about that. That's hopefully coming soon. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to continue the gameplay going because I'm quite proud of it. Uh, I don't normally do too well, but you know, I did, uh, I think it was... 31 and 13, 
31 13 yeah sorry just checking out there yeah 31 13 you know for me on domination that's pretty good that's pretty good i'm really quite proud of that i'm not an amazing call of duty player so when i do get clips like this i really just want to show it off to the world and and yeah so you, i'm sure you've seen better but uh if you continue to watch the gameplay, that will be absolutely awesome. But don't forget to smack that like button. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button uh, below the video player. Yeah, I think it is. And uh, leave any feedback in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of, if you've got the PS4 or Xbox One, let me know what you think of them so far in the comment section down below. I'll read through every one and we can start a little discussion going. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, drink tea and game on. SATCOM uplink enabled. Federation has Juggernaut Maniac. Friendly SATCOM active. Guard dog ready. SATCOM uplink enabled. Friendly helo pilot active. Losing Charlie. Bravo. Losing Charlie. We lost C. Enemy has C. Be secure. We're winning this fight. Losing A. Securing C. SATCOM uplink enabled. Friendly SATCOM active. SATCOM uplink enabled. Losing Charlie! Losing B! We lost Bravo! Losing Charlie. We lost C. Enemy has B. Enemy has Charlie. Guard dog ready. Nice work, team. Well done.